This video walkthrough will show you how to use the uh, shipping options in OpenCart. It will show you how to add new options and how to manage the existing sh uh, shipping options that you have set up in the system. To access the shipping section, you'll need to go to the extensions menu and the second option down is shipping. When you first click into the shipping area, it will take you to a full list of the headers that are available. This isn't all of the shipping options available, it's just the headers um, that the shipping options are grouped under. So you'll notice here right at the top we have the Australia Post option. What we're going to do is have a look at what happens when we go into the edit screen for this. So when you go into edit, you're presented with all of the Australia Post options that you have available. So you'll see here that there's standard postage, registered postage, registered with insurance, express post, and a variety of other uh, international and prepaid satchel postage options. To enable or disable an option, you'll see there's a, a drop down menu there which covers enabled or disabled. Here you can also set your origin postcode, any handling fees, whether to display a delivery estimate, whether you wish to have GST applied, whether there's any zones in particular that this shipping option should apply to, whether it should be enabled or disabled here as well, and a sort order. Once you've made any changes in here that are necessary, just click the Save button. That will return you back to your shipping options menu. Now if you wish to add a new shipping option, what you'll need to do is click the install button for that shipping option. So we're going to add in a flat rate option here at the moment. You see now that we've clicked the install button for flat rate, we now have an edit button here similar to the Australia Post option. Again, you can just click to edit. You can enter your cost for your flat rate shipping. Again, you can choose a tax class or whether it's going to apply to any particular zone. For flat rate, we're just going to make it for Australia. Status, you'll need to enable or disable. And again, a sort order. Once you've updated those options, again, just click save at the top right. Last but not least, you can also set up free shipping. In order to do free shipping, again, we'll just need to install the shipping uh, free shipping module. And you'll see here now again under free shipping there's an edit button. If we click the edit button, the top field here is total which is the subtotal amount needed before the free shipping module becomes available. So if you only want to do free shipping over a certain value you can do it here. Again you've got zones, we're going to choose to do this just Australia only. Make it enabled, we're going to set our sort order to 3 and we'll click Save. Now let's have a look at how those shipping options display on the front end of the website. So I've got a shopping cart here at the moment. Let's go through to check out. And when it presents us the delivery options, you can see here Australia Post. And these were the four options that we had enabled via the drop down menu, so it's given us all those options. It's also given us the flat rate option that we set up with the $10 um, uh, uh, flat rate charge. Considering our card is also for, you'll notice up the top here, three items, $300, that's over our $200 limit for free shipping. So it's given me the free shipping option there as well. So that's how you can set up uh, uh, and manage your shipping options and how they are displayed on the front end.